Do you guys remember this young chief fan right here who was accused of being racist and his family being racist by a black man that worked for Deadspin and they filed a lawsuit? Well, guess what happened? How are you good people doing today? Welcome to the channel. I am Ty Smith. You're watching my channel, Modern Renaissance Man. I appreciate you guys taking time out of your day to view my content. Make sure you hit this thumbs up button right here. That way my content can consistently be recommended to you. And it pushes it out there in the YouTube shadow banning algorithm, okay? Also, be sure to follow me on the platform to see above and the ones below, all right? Last but not least, double check and make sure that you still are subscribed to the channel. Make sure you hit the bell notification and make sure that the, set the settings is set to all notifications, all right? Appreciate it. Okay, folks, so we got to talk about this, and I'm bringing you guys back to this story. You guys, and I showed you in the beginning, this young man right here, they showed a side view of his face where it was painted black. And this black man who's riding on the wave of every black person of this certain mindset that think that anything that white people do, whether white people disagree with them, whether white people call them out, if any other race call black folks out for stuff that they're doing, a lot of black people are riding this woke wave Everybody's racist. You racist. You can't disagree with me. You're racist. You can't say yes when I'm saying no. You're racist. You can't tell me you don't like me. You're racist. Well, this young man right here was just enjoying himself at a game. And this reporter came out, black man, yes, I'm saying it, and accused this boy and his family of being racist. And even put it out there like this boy family taught him this stuff. Completely defamed the family. And it completely backfired up to the extent that the family filed lawsuits. So check this out right here. Okay. You see it right here. Delaware judge has refused to dismiss a defamation lawsuit against sports website Deadspin over in an article accusing a nine-year-old NFL fan and his family of racism because of his game day attire. The lawsuit was filed by California resident Raul Armenta Jr. and his wife Shannon on behalf of themselves and their son, Holden, who attended a game between the Kansas City Chiefs and the Las Vegas Raiders last November. Y'all remember this? According to the lawsuit, Holden referred to in the lawsuit as H.A. is a chief fan who also loves his family. Uh, I have no idea what that is. Kush, Kumash, Indian heritage. He wrote, he wore, I'm sorry, he wore a chief's jersey to the game with his face painted half red and half black and a costume Native American headdress. Holden got the opportunity to pose with Raiders cheerleaders and was also shown briefly during the television broadcast of the game with his red and black face paint visible. An Associated Press photographer who captured an image of Holton showing both sides of the boy's face painted. However, using a screenshot that showed only the side of Holton's face painted black, Deadspin writer Karen Phillips published an article the next day accusing the boy of being racist. The NFL needs to speak out against the Kansas City Chiefs fan in blackface native headdress. The headline in the article reads, They're doubling up on racism, he's wrote. Are you going to say anything, Roger Goodell? A reference to the NFL commissioner. In the article, Phillips wrote that the boy had found a way to hate black people and Native American at the same time. And it turns out the boy heritage is Native American. What? How beautiful was that? How ironic was that? He suggested that the boy had been taught hatred by his parents. Deadspin posted an article on X generating more than 18,000 comments and a community note Clarifying its falsity, Phillips described the Amentas lawsuit as someone who makes his livelihood through vicious race baiting. Nevertheless, double down. For the idiots in my mentions who are treating this as some harmless act because of the other side of his face was painted red, he said, I can make the argument that it makes even it makes it even worse. Phillips wrote on X. Y'all are the ones who hate Mexicans, but wear sombreros on Cinco. He just dug himself the biggest hole in his life. You accused the boy for wearing blackface. Then you said he wearing red face to pretty much make fun of the Mexicans. When it turns out this boy is literally, it's in his blood to be in the Native American. It's in his blood. And you had the nerve to do that. I'm glad, Karen Phillips, I'm glad this backfired on you. You are the sole reason why this company is pretty much going down. The Armentas started receiving hateful messages and death threats with one person threatened to delete Holden with a wood chipper. Can you imagine your nine-year-old child getting these threats? Can you imagine what it was like for him to go to school? 
according to this lawsuit. They are meant to say they made repeated demands for dead spin to retract the article and apologize. In response, Deadspin instead republished an edited version that retained the accusation of racism and continued to display Holden's picture. Deadspin later updated the article again, removing Holden's picture and changing the headline to read, NFL must ban native headdress and culturally insensitive face paint in the stands. We regret any suggestion that we are attacking the fan or his family, the article reads. Uh-uh, too late. You y'all already did it. Then the fact that you tried to say they need to, they must ban native headdress and culturally insensitive face paint in the stands when the boy literally is Native American bloodline. I love, I love this. Unsatisfied with dead spins updates instead of a formal apology and retraction, the Amentus sued for defamation and rightfully so. On Monday, Superior Court Judge Sean Lug denied Dead Spin's motion to dismiss the Armentis lawsuit, rejecting arguments that the article was opinion and thus protected from liability defamation. Uh-huh, too much, too late. Dead Spin published an image of a child displaying his passionate fandom as a backdrop for its critique of the NFL's diversity efforts and in its description of the child crossed a fine line protecting his speech from defamation claims, the judge wrote. Having reviewed the complaint, the court concludes that Dead Spin's statement accusing H.A. of wearing blackface and native headdress to hate black people and Native Americans at the same time and that was taught this hatred by his parents are provable false assertions of fact and are therefore actionable. Boom. Ba-bam. Lug also refused to dismiss the lawsuit based on Dead Spin's argument that it should have been filed in California where the Amentas live instead of Delaware where the Dead Spin's former parent company geo media is incorporated one month after your mentors filed their lawsuit geo media sold dead spin website to line up publishing and the entire staff was laid off love it go woke go broke dead spin karen phillips have never shown a morsel of remorse for using a nine-year-old boy as their political football elizabeth Locke. An attorney for the Armenta said in the email, the Armenta family is looking forward to taking depositions and presenting this case to a jury at trial. A spokesperson for Geo Media said in an email that the company had no comment. They better not have no comment. You already said enough. I absolutely love this. I'm so glad that these people are getting justice. I'm so glad. Here you go. Down the black. Shut up. I'm downing wrong. That's what I'm downing. That black man would just know that black man was completely wrong. He did exactly what a lot of you ignorant Negroes do. Yes, yes. Negroes of a certain mindset, seeing everything is racist, trying to come at everybody about everything that they're doing. This racist, this race. I'm so glad that this backfired in their face that it caused a whole company to get their staff laid off. Good on them. Now, in real life, in real time, in a situation like this, you can literally blame the black man for this. Black people get blamed for everything. We ain't even doing that. I'm glad. Now, with that being all out of the way, let me tell y'all something. I don't give a good goddamn gonna care what color the person is that did this. If you were a woke white person and you came at this kid like this from that company, I will be coming at you the same exact way. But I'm telling you right now how glad I am that this just turned out to be something that backfired on this particular man for trying to use the wave of this racism, this racism, that everything racist, everything race. He raced, the kid raced, his family raced, he raced again. I'm so glad it backfired in their face. And if anything, if it was me and I was the Armentus, I would go after that. I would go after Mr. Phillips in civil court for this. Yeah, I said it. Be mad, be pissed. I don't care. It was wrong, whether it was black or a white person that tried to do this to this kid. Plain and simple. Prove me wrong. Change my mind. You won't. Anyway, don't forget to do this right here, ladies and gentlemen. If you would like to see the next video I will do in chronological order, it's going to be up here. Things that I do as a variety on the channel will be down here. I am Ty Smith, Modern Renaissance Man, hoping and praying that every last one of you have food, shelter, and clothing. And most of all, I pray every last one of you guys are in great health, mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. God bless you all through Jesus.